Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Well, we're halfway done with the library. Possibly more than halfway. There seems to be less books on the right side than the left side. Let's go ahead and kind of check them out. Let's start here. Analyzing the doctrines, the lesson of Hitrana. Are, is there going to be a lesson for each of the goddesses, I wonder? Yeah, we read that one, so let me write this down. Writing down the name of all of these books so that I don't have to question. Whether I've read them anymore. How about this one? Lesson of Liquia. Let me write this down first. The Lesson of Liquia. Alright, have I read this one? Yeah, this is uh, one I read recently. How about... Analyzing the Doctrines, The Lesson of Lasha. Well, this is a short one anyway. So, protect your own. The world is yours. Project outside claims. We have nominated it our world for the, this very reason. The four goddesses gave us, humankind, this world so that we may live, prosper, and allow for the holy four to exist tangential to us. How about those of us who may or may not be human? But like anyone with a home, it must be claimed and defended. The Grey understands nothing aside from pure malevolence, the destruction of everything. Keeping our world as it is, then, requires absolute vigilance. What does vigilance mean in this regard? Many things. Infinite things. Or perhaps one thing. Whatever it takes. The rulers of Ring have always understood this prospect and have never shied away from doing what was necessary to keep us from losing our foothold. Outside forces will always try and obliterate what we understand of the world, and in order to deny them this, we are required, demanded, to accomplish only one thing. Reject all that is not us. Like, how literal are we being with that statement? Analyzing the doctrines, the lesson of Aris. Offhand, I'm gonna say I have not read this one yet. So let me adjust myself in my seat here. Okay, so, the Lady Aris remains silent so that you may reflect on what you are told. Silence is a subject very misunderstood to all forms of life. It means so much, and yet is possibly the only true form of nothing. So then, what does Aris remaining silent truly mean? Records indicate that early artworks have depicted Lady Hitrana, Liquia, and Lasha as awake and aware of the world they've created, but Aris is asleep. Or at the very least, she has her eyes closed. Well, as my grandma would tell you, if you have your eyes closed, you ha are asleep, and you need to wake up. What do we do when we close our eyes? What do we see? We think. We reflect on what we have experienced, what we have learned. It is true, then, that Lady Aris holds her tongue so that we can understand what it is exactly the first three are trying to teach us. And is this not the most important step in our continued enlightenment? To understand? We must rest when the night falls. We dream to escape from the world, to better ourselves as human beings. The Lady of Winds allow us to do just that, to view our world from a place in the distance. 
to create that context we so rightly need. And in the end, when we finally succumb to long-awaited death, we may reflect for eternity on what all of this means. Find comfort in silence, for you are the only one who can provide sound. Just to double check, I'm not muted here, right? Nope, not muted. Doctors and Holy Four again, and again. That must be one important book. All right, what about these books? Possible books. No, they're not books, they're reserved. Oh dang, I thought they would be like something really special, but no. These bookshelves full of books are reserved for other books. Well, that just leaves this last one then. Assuming we can't read any of them on the shelves. Doesn't seem to be the case. I didn't miss anything here. Can't read the paper? Nope. Can't read the scroll? Alright, just the one. A Child's Tale. The Myth of the Gaiken. Well, that's definitely a new one. A Child's Tale. The Myth of the Gaiken. Now this... This one will definitely be interesting, given how important they are. And I suppose the Gaiken are important too. A Child's Tale, The Myth of the Gaiken. Apocalypse walks when the land crumbles. Doom sings when the maestro dies. Exodus awakens when its siblings fight. As long as children learn, this remains false. The destruction of our world is false. This tale is false. Reject it. Well, screw you, tale. You were like a complete waste of time. Alright, time to return to the plot. So, earlier in this stream, the Queen of Wind Ring has privately requested that we search for a rabbit that is associated with the Pixies. Not this rabbit, though. That's a different rabbit. Now, the pixies roam under the city, so we need to find a way to the pixies. As it so happens, I actually know where we need to go in order to go down to... Down. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. How many books was that, by the way? Let me count here. That was... Twenty-seven books. That, that's a lot. That is a lot of books for somebody to put into a video game, especially an RPG Maker game. I am impressed. Oh, I know you. Let's see here. I have the option of ignoring you and heading down without you. Or I could talk to you. I'm just going to head on down without you. And now I'm coming back up to talk to you. Now that we've demonstrated, I can go down without you. This is an odd hole. The guardsmen should really consider covering it up. If they're not careful, those pixie things could swarm the city from here. Okay, you're not even important. I'm surprised the guards haven't investigated this hole yet. Considering Mr. Sailor Man here is wanting nobody to find him. Yep, I read that one. Ah! Oh! oh. Right, you ain't a guard. You mentioned a tunnel. I have boarded it up for everyone's safety. I need access. Uh, is that such a great idea? Almost died down there to those winged monsters. Wouldn't want to risk sending them all over ring. But I can see your determination. You're being polite, whereas you could have just smashed down the wood. I could have? Be my guest then, 
just know that they get out. If they, oh, just know if they get out, it's on your head. Take the boards down. Yep. Um? Well, we may have made a mistake. Hee hee hee. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. You know I'm gonna just kill you, alright? I already killed a bunch of you earlier. And I'm totally going to do it again. Let me double check something. Okay. Yep, totally gonna kill you again. Be on the lookout for a vine out of here. Or possible an, ex an exit of some sort. Might be like something in the walls. Take a close look at the walls from time to time. No, that's not a thing. I'm required to find something while I'm here. Well, uh, blah, blah. there's got to be some way to get down to you. Unless I need to use my big old weapon in order to get to you. Well, let's try that then. Because I'm not quite... ...seeing another way. Well, that was indeed the thing. Glad I figured that out. I'm curious how many people tried playing this did not figure that out. It's burnt out. Oh gosh. Um. Is it getting warm in here, or is it just me? Well, at least I can kind of reset it. Honestly, I have no idea what it is I'm waiting to do. Oh. I'm literally waiting. <laughs> okay, sure.
I'm a, I'm a little disappointed. It's just a woman who appears to be dressed up as a rabbit. Hello there. Hi. Oh. Wait. Who are you? The hunter. Ah. So, she's finally finished with the game? What's going on? This shouldn't take you too long to figure out. I'm it. I'm the Queen's Rabbit. Congratulations! You've caught me! Now you can return for your prize. <laughs> I can see confusion in your eyes. You have no idea what's going on, do you? What exactly has she promised you to get you here? Oh! The queen, I'm the queen's rabbit. Her quarry. Her reason for living. Or maybe just someone to have fun with on this side. It's unclear. What is clear is the benefit of it all. What benefit? Has the queen told you about her philosophy on wanting something? Her distorted way of believing the nature of all living things? Yes, I'd assume so. You and I both know she's far from being completely straight in the head. But... Look what happens when you have a pair of ears and a bored queen. The world is brought to its knees. The room you just walked out of. I designed it based on a simple concept that I came up with when I began creating my little minions. Of course they belong to me. This revolutionary concept is very simple. Panic. The queen began to feel that her existence was becoming less and less relevant to the world, so she developed her idea of want. In an effort to confront her own crisis, she initiated this game with me, and upon believing herself to be mortal when faced with failure, she closed the gates to ring. With the gates closed, confusion would spread. Players would be plunged into days without word, years without trade. People would be lost. Towns would decay. All of this would give rise to bullies like the Aquans and fanatics like the Acolytes. Seclusion and isolation would become more prevalent, creating xenophobia and paranoia. Hence, the Guy Call. And now, the new threat of the Gaiken, only to be initiated with purpose. A feat that will never be vanquished. Why? Because we keep panicking, we keep pushing the button. Okay, but who are you? Why don't you tell me? Karen? I, I don't think it's Karen. Are her legs made out of metal? I don't think they are. Um... Well, I'm kind of curious. That's a pretty name. Unfitting, however. Think. You know who I am. Haven't you met the mercenaries I've hired? Or maybe the people I helped bring over from their beloved Dark Isle? Perhaps maybe the paradigm of paranoia, my little brother Melik? Flashback time. There is nothing more to discuss concerning the subject. You've been causing enough grief as it is. Please be aware of our hospitality. But that's just it. 
you're all fine. I just question the reliance on, well, mercenaries, for lack of a better term. Okay, to recap, this is some far-off city where these mercenaries have come along and trying to convince the queen that the Kingdom of Ring is poised to attack this city. Which probably is untrue. So these lies are probably not going to be resulting in good things. Oh yeah, and this person here, Melek, is currently with the queen of this area. I wonder how well that meeting is going. Given the increase in security for Ring, we need to increase our own as well in case of an impending attack. The Yurek are proud, but not bullheaded. Why are you telling me this, but not anything else? Is Thorn just using this as an excuse for something else? Do not use Commander Thorn's name in that way. He would not lie. We are merely worried. I am pretty sure my people are quite capable of writing. Writing isn't the issue. Our contract permits us to all grounds. We need to ensure the safety of... Oh, spare me, will you? Lady Batari may have authorized your... assistance, but believe me, she trusts my judgment over your own. The Altenkin is sacred to our people, and during these times, for very specific and important reasons, no one is permitted to enter. You mean aside from the Lady and Prime Minister herself? Himself? Was that supposed to mean something? Was that bit of information supposed to intimidate me? Your lady will hear about this. Again, was that supposed to be threatening? I realize she is going to know about this, since I am going to be the one to tell her. Now, back off. The rulers of Ring have long had their sights on Eurateath. Well, the Siri Islands in general. We've taken them as our home years ago. This obviously has caused a bit of tension between us and the mainland, but now it's at a tipping point. Since you're from the mainland, I am sure you are already aware. Ring has been closed off. I am unsure what reason they have for doing so. But the Lady Bitari, from what I've heard, is wholly convinced that Ring means to make an attack on Eurotieth. I don't think they are. I don't think anyone does. Not even Thorn. But no one will go against her word. She has led this isle for years and to protect it. She hired mercenaries. They literally arrived on the city's doorsteps. Completely unheard of. No credentials. But the lady just accepted them instantly. I don't know what's going on. I mean, obviously something is. Do you understand now? I am the Yurak Queen, Lady Batari. Dun dun dun! I did not see that coming. Well, I guess this means that Melek is not having that meeting. I mean... Really? So, then you know why this place is all locked up, then. It has nothing to do with an invasion. I don't understand. <laughs> and this. This is why I hate people like Zaranaya. Like Varkin. Like Fury. Like you. So much of your lives, your tiny, insignificant lies, are spent just trying to understand the reasons for why certain things happen. So much so that your daily tribulations have caused you to lose sight of trying to survive, trying to change the world. You ask why I'm doing all of this? I'll tell you. There isn't a reason. I'm at the cusp of starting a war between the people of Ring and the Yurek of Yurateath. 
I hold a dagger at the throat of both cultures. With the flip of a wrist, the world will fly into chaos, and the Gaiken will arrive to wipe it clean. All because none of you could stop pressing that button. I could. Don't be haughty. That room was a metaphor. Not nearly on the levels of what I'm referring to. Oh, you mean the button in the other room. I, I thought, um, something else. Okay. Adjusting myself in my seat again. Next break, I'm gonna get up and move around. You were never in any danger when fusing or accepting the unknown in there. Was there a reason for what happened to my home? Was there a reason the Yurok chose me as their leader and savior? Was there a reason why I woke up like this? With the world wanting to ding me at every turn? With every culture wanting to shun me with every pass? Uh, you know, there are times where a swear like that would be kind of appropriate. And in this case, it's not even a swear. It's literally the word for cursing. So I'll go ahead and say it. With the world wanting to damn me at every turn? See, sometimes I can do these when appropriate. No one can understand that. You know, as the coal rod, yes, I can. Because you're the coal rod, a bringer of chaos and utter destruction? No, I don't think you would. Your existence is already explained, preordained from the reasons by which the world has granted you. Well, you're nuts. Nah. Now you go back to your queen and relay everything I've told you. She's caught her rabbit, but she and the world are about to lose what they hold most dear. Justification. I'm gonna tell some other people about this first, if I can. I have two potential options. First, I'm gonna find Drake. He seems to be pretty dang level-headed. So far, his decision to tell the king about us being the Colorad has worked out. Still don't know if it will continue to work out, but it is in fact an option. Actually, you know what? That is something I will do after the episode break, because that was certainly some plot just then.